Well, this is my mountain bike. I had bought it uh, after having my Gary Fisher Tassayara mountain bike stolen out of my vehicle while I was at work one day. And of course, when you have something stolen from you, it just feels terrible. You, uh, you feel violated. And I did. And I, but I thought about it and I thought how fortunate I am that I can be able to replace it. And so I did. Uh, I thought about it for a while, trying to find another Gary Fisher, but then I said, you know what, let's have some fun with it. Let's, let's see what I can come up with. And uh, so I, I scoured Craigslist, and this bike came up. I think they wanted um, $60. It, it uh, didn't have everything that you see on it right now. It, uh, it was uh, stripped down, so it didn't have the rack on the back. I had that added after the fact. Uh, I had the seat added, uh, replaced one that um, it was just barely functional. And then I added a pannier um, in the back, those little pouches that you see on the side. You, know, you, can, you can go ahead and have that drop down to make a uh, uh, storage. And in the front, uh, I, uh, I like going uh, to yard sales, uh, garage sales, thrift stores. And that I believe is just an old um, camera case. And so I just attached it with zip ties. As you can see there, it gives me a little more space and it's a lot more affordable than the um, than what they sell the uh, bicycle um, bicycle uh, storage devices that you'd mount to your your uh, seat post. Um, so it's a real stripped down thing, 21 speeds. You can see the the shift the shifters is not thumb. You just um, you can just move it into the position that you want and then of course three speeds on the front ring um, I had these bullhorns attached afterwards it's nice when I'm riding um, to be able to have a higher geometry uh, so it's easier on my back so I had that added I definitely did not want I did not want uh, front shocks uh, because if they uh, wear out they're quite expensive to have to replace and I didn't want to worry about that um, you just have some functional, some functional pedals, and uh, I, I added some um, water bottle holders. No big deal. I like uh, the quick release on the uh, for the for the wheels in case I have a flat in the front and in the back. You'll notice that it's not disc brakes, but that's okay. I have reflectors both on the seat post and. Uh, Again, attached to the frame, and uh, I'm not sure if I have it on the front. Uh, I guess I'm remiss. I really should have it to, to, to be able to be a street legal, um, but I really bought it to ride the trails. And so, if you see here, these uh, this bag storage, um, you can just put this down, and you have uh, you now have a uh, storage device in the back, and then I can do the same thing here. I'll just unzip that and that'll just drop down and I have a storage device. I'm all about being able to have access for storage because I never know as I'm riding if I'll see something. Um, maybe it's a bike swap meet or maybe it's um, a garage sale as I'm riding and so that just gives me opportunities. Uh, it stays in doors with me. I keep it at my office in case I just want to go for a ride. The rear derailleur looks great. We're not talking high-end components, but that's all right. That was never what this bike was about. It was, I guess, a entry-level model, and uh, it's been great for me. I like it. I like the vibe. Um, I don't really go uh, trail riding much, but it lets me go and do that if I wanted to. So this is my 90s era um, Trek Mountain Track 820. Just a great little bike. Um, didn't cost me much money. I don't have a whole lot into it. And I love outdoor art. And so this is a place, Mexican restaurant, that's gonna be opening soon. And I knew that I would never have an opportunity without patrons. Um, they're fixing it up, but they're not open yet. So I just I just love, love the art. So, all right, well, I'll post another one of my bikes another time. Thanks. Thanks for watching, bye.